come with us to high crystal pools in Cape Town. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We share all the best things to do in and around Cape Town as well as the best food spots. Fine. Our day started with the complaining about waking up so early. <laughs> you can't not go. We have a purpose. The only thing I can think of that can push me to go there is because we are paid. <laughs> and the water and the clear here water. That isn't important to me. Maybe it'll get sunny trust in the weather. <laughs> But honestly, who can blame him? Look at this weather. Drive long. Get there. Get there. Get the benefits of it. <laughs> we finally took exit 44 and still had to drive more. But when we got to this bridge, we were so happy because that means the parking is near. This is the permit you get when you pay the entrance to the nature reserve in advance. There we are, we are going towards the hike now. It's really cold today, Salah. It's very cold. You can see I'm wearing my husband's um, um, thingy sweater. So I listen to you and then bring mine. <laughs> so apparently you think mine doesn't look good on you? No, it's just, it's not as nice as the ones I've stolen from. <laughs> But lo and behold, no one was there to check our permit. Boy, were we sad. Anyway, we finally started the hike and it's quite rock filled. <laughs> so make sure you're wearing the right shoes. This is... <laughs> Are you looking for someone to check our permit? <laughs> There's a different kind of beauty that rocks like this brings. And of course, you must do your mandatory stop. There's a bridge we just passed. Isn't it so pretty? We proceeded through this interesting tunnel of trees before emerging into the sunlight once more. And that's the bridge from below. There was so much more water the last time we hiked here, you couldn't see the rocks at all. You pass that to your left, though, and proceed straight to hike to the pools. You'll see footsteps along the way to guide you, but they come in different shapes and colors. And this is the bridge you cross after the dam. Who wouldn't recommend you do that? The removal is blocking the view. That's how it's supposed to work. Look, we climbed all that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cape Town weather. This is where the two skies meet. One is the Cape Town sky, which is the, the, the rainy one. And then there is the blue sky, which is supposed to be the Cape Town sky. So Cape Town Sky, supposed to be Cape Town Sky. Damn it. I love those rocks. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. love how they're layered on a, on a tilt. You'd also pass baby pose like this. It's like playing Mario games or something like that. <laughs> and sometimes the path won't look like a path. So this is a fallacy. You often think that you need a sweater. It was chilly. But you don't need a sweater once you start yeah. hiking up. Yeah, you can hear the water right now. That's Salia there. You can hear the water right now. And it's actually very calming. Like, basically it's hot while you're walking up. But then as you, as you walk, it's like this cooling, breezing thing coming from the sides. Yeah. Which comes from the water, of course. And you're surrounded by like, just trees and greenery, so. Yeah. Rock, so it's very nice and shaded. So That's I think we would recommend it too. to now. Once we finish, the recommendation <laughs> might the, change. It's reasonable. <laughs> but hey, take a moment just to appreciate this. Coming out of the trenches towards the right path. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> Okay, so don't pull out upwards, okay. you need to pull out from the side. So the way it entered, that's the way you need to remove your foot. So pull it behind, basically. That's what would work out the best. Oh. Yeah, there you go. If you pull it up, it's going to actually hurt. And here we finally are. Took us about an hour. But it's so worth it. And this is only the first pull, but our favorite. We were too tired to go to the next one anyway. We spent some time just enjoying the peace here. Wanted to swim a little bit, but it was way too cold and the one person who jumped literally screamed. 
these are the babies. The first time I did this hike, I wore these um, <laughs> sketcher shoes that you're meant for walking, really. And basically, I broke the nails on both my toes. Is that bad? Yes, I got an injury. So, proper hiking shoes are. I don't know if they're underrated. Yeah, they are underrated. Banana jam. Banana are the best fruit to hike. Because mm -hmm. they'll give you enough energy. They're feeling. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, Almost got lost. So this is why I say once you finish your hike before 12 o'clock. Yep. Because it's so hot right now. The sun is coming out, it's beaming, it's winter but still, you know. So always start your hike before 12 o'clock, finish before 12 o'clock. With this hike, we strongly suggest looking at the steps along the way which I think again we didn't do that we didn't do that but here we are suggesting it they saw some hikers along the way um, one to, to a couple was ahead of us and then we saw another couple while we were going down and we saw a family of four as well it's actually uh, more empty than it usually is uh, yeah it is but at least last time it was summer so maybe that was the reason but Salah, you also had a challenge with booking today? Oh yeah, we wanted to book for the weekend because it's warmer tomorrow, which is Saturday. But um, it's fully booked, so Saturday and Sunday. This is their last weekend before they close because they close for the winter. So you can't, um, you cannot hike here in the winter. I think it overflows and then it's a problem. Oh, wow. so yeah, oh, tired now. Uh, the hike was about one hour, going back now. Um, we have about 40 minutes or 45 minutes. Let's see. Okay, so it's very easy to get lost on the way back. We This is the second time we've gotten lost now. And we are still trying to find the footsteps and there's no signal. So we can't check the old trails. But I have faith, we have faith that we will find... Is it right? Is it right? Let's see. Huh? I'm not sure. The moment we're lost, we can't find our way. It's because there's a lot of like empty space and so many of these things look like they're pathways. But actually they might not be pathways. So we're just trying to gauge. Um, no, I don't think that's a pathway. No. If you come down from the stairs, you don't go that way. We had to go this way. We got lost. We spent about 10 minutes. And that's not the best thing, but that happens during a hike. Uh, of course, not the best thing because we have been doing a lot of exercise for the past two days. We are a bit tired now. We need to get back. And there is no other way than this. I hope we're in the right path now. Final stretch. This is the way back. Last time we got lost here. But hopefully we won't get lost. Again, those steps are really helpful. So yeah, so very tired, I can't even talk really, so yeah, let's go into the car now, and then we will be done, Sunday is full, full of energy, and taking pictures and videos in the background. So we're really dead, um, as you can see that <laughs> he's like, okay I'm gonna cross them, yeah, but anyway, he's done, I'm also done, but energy before collapsing <laughs> anyway usually there's a there's a person to check apartments here and today they're not here let us know if you have hiked crystal pools in the comments below if you enjoy videos like this don't forget to subscribe